Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I am in Orlando, Florida, at the Discovery Cove. So you're thinking about going. You want to know if it's worth the price. We're going to tell you that. We're also going to give you a full tour and review. This is going to be good. You stay with us. First off, costs at Discovery Cove can range anywhere from 105, 110 if you are a pass holder, to anywhere to three, four, five hundred dollars, depending on what you want to do and what you get. Now, when you first come in, you're going to see how beautiful it is just driving to Discovery Cove. You've entered. And uh, that's the building you're going to go in, and that is where you're going to set all your stuff for the day. You have to sign in, and here is the building. You sign in. Now, I advise you get there early. We got there about quarter of seven. They let us in about five of seven. Uh, the earlier you get, the faster you could set things up. And if you have extra events like swimming with the dolphins, it's good because you can set your time early and then plan the rest of your day. So get there before 7 if you can. Sometimes the crowds are big. Now here is, look how much stuff there is to do. That is the map. There is a lot. You're going to want to take a picture of that map so you know where you are. Once you sign in, they'll let you out in the back. You can't go to the food yet, but this is what you're going to see. And right from the start, you know this is a beautiful place. Soon after, they'll start walking you to the food area. Now, you eat food twice a day. You get breakfast and you get lunch, and they are included in the price. Breakfast is typical eggs and cereals and uh, sausages and whatever it is that you like for breakfast. And uh, lunch was great. We had a choice of steak and jerk chicken. There's salads. There's potato salads. There's a lot to choose from. And you can go as much as you want. I mean, it's an all-inclusive. So if you want to go and eat lunch five times, you can. We didn't. We ate breakfast once, lunch once. There's so many things to do. You're not necessarily thinking about just eating. Now, if you want to buy alcohol, it's extra. But other beverages are free. After you do that, you want to head and get yourself a locker because you don't want everything to get wet and you got to find a locker to put all your stuff in, your cameras, whatever it is. And you will see, wow, what a beautiful scene. There's several different places you can go into the water and overlook always beautiful. And there are lifeguards on duty. You know, look how crystal clear the water is. Another thing you might want to do in the beginning is you might want to uh, get some snorkel equipment. Uh, you might want to get a wetsuit right there. We see how they it's no extra cost. They give you a wetsuit in your size, or you could just wear a vest if you don't want to wear the whole wetsuit. Then you might want to start thinking about finding the spot that you want to stay in. Now, you didn't pay for extra cost. You didn't pay for a cabana. There's a lot of different areas you can get. You won't have a problem if you go early to get a spot to sit. But if you have the money, it's always nice to get a cabana. There's cabanas in different areas. And I'm just showing you some of the ones when you first walk in so you can see what they look like. I think they're like $150. They are gorgeous. They are nice. Some come with uh, fans and water and all kinds of things. After you do that, you're going to want to get one of those green float things because you need them throughout the day. And if you need a vest, if you're not a good swimmer, you want a vest, you can get one of those as well. Ah, look at that beautiful water. Is there anything better than going into a water that's nice? It's very warm. The water is not cold. Uh, there is an area where it's cold. I'll show you that later. But most of the time, the water is at least 72 degrees, maybe 80s in some areas. And the people will gather in different areas. Uh, you can choose where you want to go. Several areas they have stop. You can get uh, beverages and chips and pretzels, warm pretzels, nice out of the oven cookies. There's plenty to eat in all the different areas. And there are areas where you can get your drinks if they're alcohol. And of course, I said soda beverages are free. And they're all in the different areas so that you can choose whatever it is you like. A lot of people may just want to sit here, spend the day in the sun. But there's so much to do. I advise you don't just do that. 
Now, one of the things that I found really fun was the Lazy River. They have a nice, long, beautiful Lazy River. Of course, it's very noisy because there are kids, but it's beautiful to look at. And you're just going to love the scenery. I floated along. I, I saw a whole bunch of different things. Um, I'll show you as we go along a little bit along the way. This difference, it can be eight feet deep to where you can stand. It all depends on the certain areas. And they have it mapped out and they say to you, so we're going to an eight feet area. And like I said, don't worry about the kids. There are plenty of lifeguards. Hopefully they could swim. And if you have kids, take them with you. Don't let them go alone. If they don't know how to swim and they're going to an eight feet area. There are also several waterfalls. And the waterfalls can be kind of rough, um, depending on how you like them. I don't like that they're so rough. This one right here isn't so bad. There's another one that's kind of rough, but they're fun. They make for part of the fun and part of the fun day. Uh, you can go right through it and to the other side. And usually after the um, waterfalls, it gets a little bit deeper. There's also an area that you can see birds, but the, the aviary was not open. We were there. They had uh, some area that was had some issues. Now, part of the part when you go through the lazy river you will see a cave now i believe this is all man-made but it's cool to go through and check out the cave i really enjoyed that that's part of the lazy river you can also do that separate if you don't want to another thing they have an uh, inside they have an area the lazy river goes along the outside but inside they have an area where you can go and see several animals now this is where we went and we saw the otters now you can see people will stand along and look through the window and see the fish and the otters. You can go out and see them above the land as well if you would like to, or you can go in that area. I liked going in that area because it was almost like a second lazy river, but it was inside, in the middle. If you uh, want to see the otters, you can also see marmosets. Marmosets are like little monkeys. They have an island all of their own. And I'm gonna show you the marmosets right now because they are so cute. They don't come out of the little island and several times a day, someone will talk to you and tell you a little bit about those animals. And you can listen and see and learn. Also, there's an area where you can sit and have your alcohol. There's only one area that you can bring alcohol into the water and that's because there's no fish or no nothing so that if you spill the drink it's okay now you want to go to the grand reef especially if you snorkel do not miss going to the grand reef that is a great area and we almost missed it now here you go you see this tells you all the fish that are in the grand reef and here's just a few there's two pages you turn it over you can put it on your wrist and carry it with you if you want but it's difficult to snorkel with that around so i liked to go back and take a look and see what i just saw you will be amazed at the grand reef there are so many fish i have snorkeled several times and i have never seen anything like this you think they're just little fish well let me tell you there's fish of all sizes and I saw a seven foot shovel nose ray, which was enormous. I thought it was a shark. I jumped up and I got all nervous and had to talk to the lifeguard. But one of the more interesting fish that you're going to see are the rays and they swim all over. And what you can do with the rays is you can stop. If they go up to you, you can pet the rays. There's a lot of little fish. There's fish of all different sizes. I was just totally amazed. And there are some of the rays are absolutely gorgeous. There is a painted ray. I believe we're going to see it soon that you will just absolutely love. Look how they come up to you. Look how close they are right there. And there's so many of those rays. And look at the little fish. They're in schools. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Great time. To snorkel. The water in the Grand Reef, though, is cold. Look how gorgeous this spotted ray is. OMG, I absolutely loved that ray. Now I'm going to show you a little scene from above. Well, if you're looking down at the Grand Reef, that's what it looks like. And you can put your chairs there if you wish because, hey, you want to see what's going on as well. 
Now, maybe you want to swim with the dolphins. Now, that's an extra cost. You can swim with the dolphins. You could swim with the rays. But you could swim with the rays in the Grand Reef. So, I wouldn't pay for that. You could also swim with the sharks. I don't believe they're man-eating sharks. So, I think you're okay. Now, I did the swim with the dolphins. And I absolutely loved it. They get to kiss you. You get to actually swim with them and feel them. And they feel like a leathery rubber. They're nice and soft. Before you go in and do any of the activities, they bring you in a group and they show you a little film so you'll learn a little bit about the animals. And hey, that's always important to know what you're seeing and what to expect. Now, there are other adventures. You could take the Sea Venture where you'll go down and you will see them all uh, against the glass, but you can see them in the Grand Reef if you want to do it that way. So I would do it that way. There's the glass, there's some of the animals, there's a nice cool bridge that you can walk on. What a great time. So is it worth the cost? Let me tell you, it is worth the cost. This was a fantastic day. I don't care how much you spend. If you spend the smallest amount or the largest amount, you are going to have a great time. And the food is free. There's so much that's free. There's so much to do. I recommend Discovery Cove. I give it an A+. It is one of the best adventures you are ever going to have. And if it's your birthday, they give you a lander that says it's, it's your birthday. And everyone says happy birthday with you. Well, thank you so much for watching. This is Rockin' Robin. Please remember to subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up. If you want to see individual videos on all the things that we showed you, we have them as well. So take a moment to click on the links if you want to see the Lazy River, the snorkeling in more detail, or the otters and marmosets. You have a great day at Discovery Cold. It is worth it. I rate it an A+.